I was um, diagnosed as stage four mm. because it was all over my lungs mm. and into my liver. I had 2% chance to live. Whoa! Only raw fruits and vegetables, seeds and nuts, no dairy, no animal products, no dairy products, no processed food, no any kind of sweetener, right? Mm -hmm. Except what comes in a whole fruit. Mm -hmm. I will tell you the most important in my spirit is number one thing is do not be afraid. My Jamaat family, how you do? Fantastic, fantastic. Today I introduce you to an extraordinary woman. Her story is nothing short of a miracle. She's actually an American who was married to a Jamaican, a Rastaman, and for 30 years and is living here in Jamaica. But she has overcome stage four cancer. Yes, you heard right, stage four cancer using herbs, herbal supplements, and what she call, not diet, but live it. She's gonna to talk to us about that and how she did it. And I'm gonna share that with you. First though, I'm gonna invite you, if you've not yet, a part of my, what I call my Jam Heart family, I'm gonna invite you to join us now. I'm gonna journey to share the real Jamaica, the real people of Jamaica, the real culture of Jamaica, stories like these about overcomers here in Jamaica, and you don't want to miss any of that. In fact, this video is part of what I call the Overcomer series. So if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, I invite you now to hit that subscribe button, tap the bell notification, and that way you'll see updated on all my latest videos. Let's go to Cherry Black, stage four cancer survivor, who has now a thriving Airbnb business right here in Jamaica. All right, guys, so here she is. <laughs> Here she is, resilient, incredible triumph over adversity. Her name is Sherry Black. And she's been married to a Rasta man here in Jamaica for almost 30 years. Give but thanks. we're gonna hear today, we're gonna hear about her story, uh, what she has been through, and you know how she came through to be a shining star right now <laughs> hi cherry say hi to everybody hello everybody <laughs> by the way Irie. for the record she is my personal friend we met way back guys you probably some of you probably would have seen her in other videos uh where we talk about other stuff but yes man but she has a story and i told her that we needed to talk about this and so i'm really happy that i'm doing this overcome a series where we can talk can talk freely about her situation cherry cancer stage four cancer you overcame stage four cancer tell us a little bit first about the diagnosis and 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 the, and then later on about what you did treatment well, all right well thank you wellesley i love to tell this story over and over mm. uh it was december 10th of 2012 when i got the diagnosis mm. of uh a uterine cancer mm -hmm. and the and then they wanted to do a hysterectomy right away. And I'm like, no, I have a vacation uh, to go with my family. Mm -hmm. And so uh, I went with my sisters on vacation for a month. And the doctors were like, what? You can't do that. But I knew cancer kind of usually grows a little slow. Mm -hmm. I knew I had a little time. Mm -hmm. And I came back and I was in a lot of pain. I, su I assumed it was cancer. Mm -hmm. um, while I was gone, they had given me great big pills to take that were progesterone to, oh, to counter the the uh, estrogen I had too much of. Mm -hmm. And and I was taking all those pills and I was getting more and more pain, not realizing. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I was taking ibuprofen. But anyway, I got back to the States. There was a lot of pain. So I checked in with my oncologist in the hospital for pain medication, mm -hmm. for pain. Mm -hmm. So they given me morphine and stuff. I thought from the cancer. Mm -hmm. I didn't know. And... Anyway, I was there four days and they finally talked me into one dose of, of, of chemo, which I did not want because I knew if it got spilled on the floor, people have to wear hazmat to pick it up. I mean, oh, so, oh, I mean, really. Yeah. And, but anyway, to move quickly on, they gave me an enema that day and the pain instantly went away. It was from constipation, from that medication and from ibuprofen. Mm. It wasn't from the cancer. Mm. Anyway, so uh, just to say that uh, I had that chemo. I went home. I, they gave me oxycodone. I started hallucinating. It was terrible. I finally figured out that it was too much medication. Mm. 
and the oncologist said cut it in half. So then I found a cancer education counselor mm. and I went to her because I could not get myself to eat psychologically. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes chemo make you nauseous, but that wasn't a problem. I could not, I loved to eat. I was like really big. I was mm -hmm. 170 pounds. Mm -hmm. So it was terrible. So I went to this counselor and she said, oh yeah, that happens to chemo patients. Mm -hmm. the, so, the body so much energy trying to keep you alive that mm -hmm. it doesn't have energy to chew. Oh. I'm like, wow. So she said, mush up everything like baby food and then you'll be all right. So then I found an, an with her help and then another counselor named Yan, um, we figured out what I should eat is only raw fruits and vegetables, seeds and nuts, no dairy, no animal products, no dairy products, no processed food, no any kind of sweetener, right? Mm -hmm. Except what comes in a whole fruit. Mm -hmm. And so that's what I did. I had a certain thing I ate every day exactly. Mm -hmm. And I started that in the by me the second week of February of 2013 and I had blood tests every three weeks mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. my blood test at the beginning was a CA 125 and it was at 90 which is a high measure for cancer mm. right mm -hmm. by the third week of April I always say three months but it really wasn't even three months mm -hmm. I was down to 14 which is well inside the healthy range. Mm. They could not detect any cancer cells at that point. That's, oh, really? I'm saying from the second week of February mm. to the third week of April, it was gone. Oh, and let me tell, I didn't say that by the time, by when January came along, when I was in the hospital, I was um, diagnosed as stage four mm. because it was all over my lungs mm. and into my liver. Wow. So what kind of cancer is it again? Uterine, it says? So I call it lung cancer because that was the worst part. Uh -huh. Or maybe the liver is the worst part. But it started in the uterine, the lining. Of uh -huh. it, you, you, uh -huh. And then it went. Stage four means it's in more than one place. Yeah, all over the body. Right? Yeah. So it started in my uterus, then it got all over my lungs, mm -hmm. and then it dipped into my liver. Mm -hmm. So they said I had 2% chance to live. Whoa! Five years, right? Mm -hmm. Two percent chance if I took chemo. I'm like, I'm not taking chemo. Mm -hmm. It's 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 toxic. It's mm -hmm. it's a it's terrible. Mm -hmm. Anyway, but I did get talked into it, and that's why I lost all my hair. Mm -hmm. But I started that right after chemo is when I found that those two counselors, mm -hmm. and I got on that special what I call live it, not diet. You know, Rasta. <laughs> Rastafari changed yes. the words to fit the meanings, yes, right? Yes, yes, yes. So diet is a very low word, yeah. right? Live it. So we made me a live it. Live it. So what I'm going to tell you yeah. is how from February to April, yeah. the cancer was from a high, high 2% chance to live mm -hmm. to gone. And this is basically from the, the live it, not diet. Right. But the live it, which is herbal stuff and herbal supplements mm -hmm. and raw, uh, raw foods and stuff like that. Yeah, so so what I had every morning is I juiced uh, uh, vegetables because mm -hmm. juicing them gets it right into the bloodstream. Yeah. It doesn't get uh, diluted diluted yeah. by digestion. Or contaminated. So I started out with that. I would do wheat grass is the best, but mm -hmm. any kind of dark leaf, leafy greens. Mm -hmm. You can throw in a little bit of green apple and celery, you know, for a sweetener. Mm -hmm. um, and then at noontime, I had lentils because they're the most powerful protein oh, really? of the beans. Mm -hmm. um, so I had lentil soup with vegetables in it, carrots, uh, you know, cauliflower, mm -hmm. um, uh, broccoli, mm -hmm. that kind of thing. And then in the afternoon, this is me. There's a lot of ways to do it. This yeah. is just how I did it. Yeah. And then in the afternoon, I had what I call a twofer. Twofer, like two, uh, two a smoothie four. made out of twos. Uh -huh. So I had two scoops of green leafy vegetables, uh -huh. two handfuls, uh -huh. right? Uh -huh. Two cups of coconut milk, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. No dairy, mm -hmm. two kind of seeds. So I did chia, which uh -huh. is packed full of everything, especially omega-3, mm -hmm. which you really need. Mm -hmm. And also flaxseed, which is also good omega-3, right? Mm -hmm. And two kinds of nuts. The mm -hmm. best nuts are almonds. So I had 20 of them mm -hmm. and then 10 walnuts. And once in a while, in a uh, um, what you call Brazil nut, mm. right? Mm. And then uh, to top it all off, I put two frozen organic cups of 
berries, yeah. both blueberries and raspberries and strawberries. Uh -huh. Um, cause they are safer. The yeah. frozen ones, yeah. organic ones are safer than the fresh ones yeah. so, I, I, in America anyway. Yeah. And that's what I had. And I did not, I know I had eight glasses of filtered water per day, per day. Uh -huh. That's half of my weight in uh -huh. ounces. Right. Uh -huh. Um, but the filtered water is very important. Uh that's what I did. I bounced a little bit. You can also do patting mm -hmm. of your lymph nodes because mm -hmm. um, it doesn't have a, a heart to pump. And lymph nodes do a great job bringing nutrients, just like blood and getting rid of waste, right? Oh, mm -hmm. So I'm just learning again the new the patting. I'm going to start doing that. Or you can jump on trampoline, but be also sure just to walk. You know that mm -hmm. movement really helps. Mm -hmm. um, I wouldn't necessarily. So that's from an intake point of view. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't necessarily say that's the most important. I will tell you the most important in my spirit is number one thing is do not be afraid. Mm -hmm. Your uh -huh. body, do not be afraid. Number one is decide to live. Mm -hmm. Decide to live. So number one, decide to live. Do not be fearful. Fear, fear causes stress mm -hmm. and any kind of fear, anger, resentment, mm -hmm. all that kind of thing that comes from mm -hmm. fear. Mm -hmm. Just respond out of love to everything that happens in your life. Be mm -hmm. positive. Surround yourself by positive people, not mm -hmm. people that say, oh, I'm so sorry you have cancer. Mm -hmm. No, we don't want to hear that. Mm -hmm. and, I'll, and I hope I can say a little bit more about cancer in a little while. But the most important is one spirit and one's resolve. Mm -hmm. To, to believe that you're going to live and do believe that you're going to learn everything you can to create the environment mm -hmm. that your body, he, it's your body is created to heal itself, mm -hmm. to regenerate, renew mm -hmm. the body. It's all it wants to do is yeah. live. Yeah. It's programmed that way. Yeah. But we cause so much problems around it by eating all kind of junk food. I, I ate all kind of milk, chocolate, fast food, all kind of, stuff that's yeah. just terrible yeah. and that all turns into acid so if you just look at it from an acid alkaline point of view mm -hmm. the things i said not to do is if you're in an unbalanced state mm -hmm. is don't eat any kind of dairy products at mm -hmm. all and mm -hmm. no kind of animal products mm -hmm. and just eat fresh fruits and vegetables seeds and nuts mm -hmm. uh and berries right awesome, awesome. um but, but the mind is the most powerful thing yeah. and the spirit is the most powerful thing. Oh, fantastic. And guys, she is offering, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, Terry, you, she, you have, you have yeah. documented much of this, your yeah. story yeah. and what you did in an ebook. Right. And it's in the description guys right now, free of charge, right Terry? Yes. Oh my God. You're yes. too generous. Free I just want to pass it forward, you know, yeah, yeah. to let people know yeah. cancer is not a disease. Yeah, cancer not a is the body's way to try to heal itself. Yeah. I mean, to keep you from dying from too much acid, mm -hmm. from stress yeah. and all that other stuff. Oh boy. Uh, awesome. Thank you. That was about, about 10, 12 years ago. Yeah. So that was in the spring of 2013. Uh -huh. And that's, yeah, so that's t almost I 10 years ago. Over 10 years. Over 10 years yeah, ago. Yeah, because we're in September. And you've been living healthy, um, well, certainly cancer-free. Yeah, since, every, since I lived he healthier now yes. in those years than I did before. And and part of the, 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 the part of the, you know, the wellness too, I'm going to say is that you, you came to Jamaica. So you, you, you yes. found your, I know this is her, this is the nicest part, guys. Look at her face. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. She came to Jamaica fully. She has, you have been married for almost 30 years to yeah. the Jabi. And that's another now, story. There's a book that. If I had, I'll just say, mm. if I had followed the way that my husband ate, mm. I wouldn't have gotten cancer. Yeah. Because I call it really the Rastafari way, the yeah. way I, the way that live it is yeah. a Rastafari way, yeah. you know? Yeah. And when I did that, it was two months. Yeah. <laughs> really. And, and cancer was not there anymore. Wonderful. So, 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 so you came to Jamaica of thought, I mean, uh, eventually in yeah. total, you've been back and forth since 1994, you said, yeah. uh, 1996, you got married in, and he actually came to live with you in the U.S. Yes, yeah, and then spent ten years there. <laughs> the sacrifice, ten years there, and then you both came down here officially after the back and forth and back and forth. 
and you settled in 2016 and you said yeah yeah tell us about that and a little about their new venture the new venture that you started uh well so you know the reason i came to jamaica in the first place is that i had a vision that when I retired, I was 33 and I had a vision that when I retired, I'm supposed to have a guest house in Jamaica mm -hmm. and I didn't know where Jamaica was. I said, I'm going to have a bed and breakfast in Jamaica. And everybody said, where's Jamaica? <laughs> and where Jamaica was, Phil where Philadelphia. Yeah. So anyway, uh, 15 years later, a friend said, let's go Jamaica and find that guest house, right? Yeah. I was 48. So yeah. uh, that's how come I came here anyway. It was like I followed spirit, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, so finally in 2006, well, 2005, we found a partially built guest house in Mount Salem. Mm -hmm. So we bought it, but that was 2005, mm. but we didn't have the money to move here yeah. right, and fix it up. So it was 2000. So then it was one floor. And then my husband came back and forth every other month with mm. a contractor friend to build the other part of the house. So it's got eight bedrooms now. Mm -hmm. And um, so then we were able in 2016, we did the Caribbean way, you know, it took a long time to build. The house, <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah. That's, you know, as the, I, sound, I feel guilty now. <laughs> as the cash flows, yes, you yes, yes. paint another room. right? Yes, yes. Okay. So then we finally moved here. I said trial for me, of course, mm. you know, to try it out. Yeah. Uh, in January of 2016, I booked this to stay for two months. Mm -hmm. And I, two months came and I'm like, oh, I can't leave. This is too, I loved it here. Yeah. So I booked it two more months and two more months. <laughs> so, yeah. so, yeah. Did I answer the question? I, so we have a guest house now yeah. that I dreamed about. Yeah. Uh, Topaz Dream a Palace. Bunch, a bunch of years ago. Yeah, Topaz Dream Palace. Yeah. TopazDreamPalace.com. Yeah. And we've had over 650 guests now yeah. uh, from all around the world. So I'm really just... Uh, very, very uh, grateful. I live in gratitude. That's a key thing. Live in gratitude. And I've had the awesome pleasure of actually meeting with, well, not just meeting. We, we, we actually toured you and I and some of your guests. We went out. We go other places. We go to yeah. Calico Jack in the grill we go to rasna tango in the bush in the bushes with the birds yeah we yeah. go a lot of places together and yes. so that is a blessing this is a blessing yes. in, a, in, in a blessing in itself yeah i really would like to say that i was very blessed actually to get the cancer diagnosis because i learned so much mm -hmm. and i changed my life so much mm -hmm. that i can be here healthy and happy in jamaica yeah. right and what I want to, what I learned, what I have chosen in my research to believe is I knew that it was very important in, in the recovery of a cancer diagnosis to be very positive. I mentioned about that, mm -hmm. but how do you be positive about cancer? We're all taught that it's a terrible, dangerous, mm -hmm. killing disease. Mm -hmm. What I found evidence of in many research that I chose to believe, and it made me feel good about cancer mm -hmm. is that if you look at what you put in your body from an alkaline to acid perspective, mm. like processed food and sugar and all that is acid. Mm -hmm. uh, raw fruits and vegetables, or not even raw, fruits, vegetables, seeds, nuts, all of that good mm. stuff from the bounty mm. of the earth is acidic. Mm. So your blood is a little over seven on the chart from zero to 14. Al alkaline, in terms of alkaline. Alkaline, it's, yeah. it's 7.365. Yeah. So it's just slightly alkaline. Yeah. So anything that we can do to keep the environment around our body, mm -hmm. in our body, mm -hmm. alkaline is great. Mm -hmm. so, um, so what I discovered uh, is that cancer cells love to eat they thrive on acid yeah you know we know cancer goes can sugar feeds it right but yeah. sugar is really acid yeah so the body has built into it we have cancer cells in our body at all times mm -hmm. so if we went and ate three ter uh, hamburgers that was raised on uh grain mm -hmm. that would create a lot of acid in our body yeah so at any one moment we would grow more cancer cells to mm. eat that acid mm. right mm. so the body has built cancer cells in like our, our human cells that don't like acid mm -hmm. so they will turn into cancer cells because cancer cells love to eat it mm -hmm. and that's why the immune system can't detect cancer cells because the body it's built in mm -hmm. the immune system knows the cancer cells are needed mm -hmm. 
to eat up the acid to yes. keep us yeah. from too much acid and dying of acidos acidosis. Yes. That's the learning. It's totally opposite than what the Western people tell medicine tells us. Yeah. Well But I choose to believe it and that keeps me positive about mm -hmm. cancer and it's a wake up call. Mm -hmm. It's like when you have on your car dashboard if the oil light goes on you put oil in the oil tank, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And so when the cancer cells go off, you know, mm -hmm. blink, blink. Yeah. It just means put nutrition in your yeah. body. Awesome. There, there is, um, there is, and I, guys, this lady, she reads a whole lot. <laughs> she really does. She really does. So she knows what she's talking about. There's a book. It just came to me that your book, Loving oh. to Be We. Yes. I yes. would love for you. Let me share. Right let, yeah. Let me share it with you guys. So here she has a bunch of them here. Um, Oh, by the way, that's her. That's that's Jabi. That's Jabi here. Yeah. That's Jabi. <laughs> yes. All right, that's Jabi and uh and 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 Sherry. So this is a book that chronicles your your love story. Yeah. Essentially, this is you. It's and, a love story of Jabi and me, and yeah. it's a love story of Jamaica. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So and not so much the, the the cancer and so on, but it is it's worth reading. And it's where where is that? It's a, actually can, one whole chapter of this book is the ebook. Okay. All right. Cool. So I put my my cancer journey as, as ah, I love it to be. It's on Amazon and stuff like that. Yeah, it's on Amazon. Oh. It's on every book, uh, online bookstore. Okay. Store. It's yeah. also there's a link also, guys, in the description if you want to read read more about. Sh 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 is it Cherry or Sherry? Yeah, Cherry, Cherry. Avery Black. Yeah. Cherry Avery Black. How much yeah. she does? Powerful story, man. A lady of resilience. She has overcome stage four cancer and still living and breathing. In gratitude. In gratitude. Uh, gratitude. I want to hear from you guys. What do you think about it? She's she's an American. Um, she's still she's still an American transitioning here, but she, she has been married to Jabi. I wish I, Jabi was here, but Jabi is probably on the farm today. Picture. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a little organic farm. Yeah. Yes. Oh, and there's a video. We actually did a video with Jabi. Yes. yes. Yeah. You need to see that. There's a link. Mm -hmm. There's a link in the description. You need to see that. Our hundred percent organic farm tour with Jabi, guys. Any final words, Sherry? You want to? Oh, I'm just saying, give me good vibes to be getting my citizenship. I applied for many years ago. <laughs> I'm longing to be a full Jamaican. Yes. Uh, so thank you so much. And yes. thank you, Wellesley. I just love everything about my island, Jamaica. And, yes. and you and your family are just incredible. Your daughter and everybody in your family, right? Thank you. My yes. wife is around the corner. Your yes, story. Yes. Your story has been a... A source of inspiration as well uh, for me and I'm hoping for my viewers as well you know um, if you have been touched by her story guys and her resilience go ahead and give a like right now and share this video share the story with somebody man uh, somebody will benefit from from this yeah have hope yeah. don't be afraid if there's a cancer diagnosis just get it healed let your body heal it right fantastic, do fantastic. what it takes and thank goodness and surround yourself with love. I mean, thank goodness I had my Jamaican husband yeah. uh, with his incredible unconditional love. I mean, I just, I give much credit to him. Yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, um, you know, it just came to me. If, so if anybody wants to learn more about, I don't know if they want to learn more about, um, well, we already mentioned the book. The yeah. book, the ebook is in the description, free, totally free. Yes. Share, the, share the description for the link, guys. Um, but if persons are interested in your Airbnb, which is doing extremely well, you almost, almost always overbooked, especially even to COVID. Yeah. But then, so the, yeah, you can go only to from March to June something when we had our borders closed. But yeah. the very next day, the borders opened. We had three guests. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So you have your volume been doing well. It's a blessing. The topal. That's this is the topal dream. That's where we are right now, guys. In the in 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 the Airbnb, she's doing. Doing, doing very well. There's a link in the description to that as well. Topazdreampalace.com. Topaz, because yeah. that's when Jabi and I met, and uh -huh. our birthdays are in November. Right? <laughs> Dream, because we both had dreams uh -huh. that brought us together. Uh -huh. I told you mine. You'll have to talk to me to find out his. Uh -huh. And it looks like a little baby palace. <laughs> <laughs> love it, love it, love it. All right. There she is, guys, again, Cherry Black and her miracle story overcoming stage four cancer and now have a thriving Airbnb here. You see pictures, Airbnb here in Montego Bay, Jamaica, living up, living the life. She actually, her approach to healing was live it.
right, Cherry? Live it, not diet. Live it, Live it. not diet. Right, and she's living it up here in Jamaica. So, product, I want to share her story though. Come on, share her story, man. Hit that share button and let's tell others about about it. You know what I mean? It's a miraculous story. So go ahead, share her story, and I'll see you in the next video.